have whatever means they've tried to engage has not resolved the problem that has led to the crisis in the judiciary. There could be many reasons. I could hazard some of them. My personal view that um, the Honorable, the retired Chief Justice, uh, speaking on the steps a few meters away from here to everyone on concerned might not have been the best solution. But whatever it is, it didn't work. And one of the questions uh, I would uh, love to um, ask. Council, yes. uh, Senior Council. Yes, Madam. That is to you only one aspect um, of our failure, according to you, to deliver optimally uh, um, for the last one year. I was asking for the systems inside, but so that we can make progress, I shall just mention that we have systems in here that are called LMTs, leadership management teams. We have the CUCs. We have the JLAC, which is the uh, topmost governing body that assists uh, my lord the CJ to deliver. But while still on that uh, topic, and so that uh, we can get out something that we are looking for, let me ask the next question, which is a part of the roles of the Chief Justice. There are many of those. Uh, we will not ask a simplistic question there, but let me mention this. That one of the roles, uh, Senior Counsel, you will have to perform if God grants that you be the next Chief Justice of the Republic, is to make rules and regulations as mandated by a number of statutes. Uh, from the background of legal practice and knowing as I do that you are forever in these courts, please tell us um, the challenges you have faced uh, will lead you to regulating, making what rules for the effective um, enabling the institution of the judiciary to effectively make it possible for Kenyans to access justice and for the legal practice to effortlessly earn their keep. Um, Madam Commissioner, first of all, perhaps you will allow me to finish my answer. I was, because it also dovetails into exactly what you are asking me. So the problems of the judiciary today that require outside intervention is in simple terms a different approach. As the old saying goes, when you're in a hole, stop digging. The other saying goes, don't do something in the same way all the time, months in, months out, and hope for a different result. So, solve the problem of capacity, the appointment of judges, solve the problem of the funding, and the ship will continue moving, justice will continue flowing, and um, who knows, you don't need outsiders like us coming to tell you what to do. As for the rules, and rules made by the Chief Justice, there is absolutely nothing wrong with the existing rules. And where necessary, the relevant committees will look at them, having taken feedback from all other affected agencies, court users, um, bar bench, and those are framed and finally promulgated uh, following an agreement and consensus on what is required. So I personally, as a practitioner, have no problem with rules at all. Thank you, Council. Uh, thank you, Senior Council. Let's go to a different area now that I have to cover within the time given to me.
which is this. Council, listen to this. Senior Council, listen to what I'm just about to read. Judicial power to nullify a law duly passed by the representative process is a restriction upon the power of the majority to govern the country.